हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास सिक्स होप यू ऑल यू नो मी फ्रॉम टूडे ऑनवर्स आई एल बी टेकिंग यू ऑल जी के क्लास ऑल दीज डेज वी हैड बीन कवरिंग ऑफ द मेन सब्जेक्ट्स बिकॉज ड्यू टू कोरोना वी आर स्टार्टेड वर्चुअल क्लास ये स्टूडेंट so main subjects have been so far proceeded now we are going for the moving for the other subject gk exams will be on 25 marks and so from today i'm starting please take out your gk book and it is chapter 1 so let us start it's about the national flag hope you all know about the national flag every year in gk book the first chapter has been about the national flag isn't it so is a color a flag color is tricolor and so national flag of india is one of the national symbol of our country isn't it so we should know the importance of our national flag so let me explain you please take out your book page 5 chapter 1 the tricolor is the national flag of india it is one of the national symbols of a country and is loved and respected by every indian yes we do respect in independence day on republic day yes so a flag coat is set up of laws that governs the uses of a flag let us read some of the laws of the coat and make sure that we follow them when we hoist indian national flag so there are some do's and don'ts so when we hoist the national flag and we respect the flag isn't it so few things we should keep in our mind what we should do and what we should not do so let's first go to the do's what we should do the national flag of india shall be made of made of hand spun and hand woven wool it should be either made of wool cotton silk or khadi bunting okay it shall be rectangular in shape what should be the shape of the flag it should be rectangular in shape and the length of the the length to the width of the flag shall be 3.2 the second point the indian national flag can be kept flying also at night subject to the restriction that the flag should be hoisted in a tall flag pole you cannot just keep like this you have to hang it in the top of the pole so that it should be elevated and be illuminated and there should be some light also over there the indian national flag third point the indian national flag may be hoisted in educational way which we should hoist the flag it should be hoisted in educational institution and on important national cultural and sports events to inspire the respect for the flag okay so these are the do's and what are the don'ts it should not be used for communal gain because you know actually we should respect a flag so we should see that it is not disrespected okay the indian national flag should not be used as a drapery in any forms third point the indian national flag should not be internationally allowed to touch ground or trail in water it should not touch the ground because flag should always be hoisted right up because we respect our national flag 
so it it should not touch the ground a damage indian national flag should not be displayed once if the flag is damaged if any corner or anything is damaged we should not use that flag no other flag should be placed higher than or above a side by side national flag if we are putting some other i suppose in the sports we are putting a school flag or some other flag then that should not be hoisted above the national flag national flag should be must be uh, higher up compared to the other flag the indian national flag should not be used for decorating the streets and building as a ribbon or cloth during celebration so hope you understood the do's and don'ts now you know you know the facts there is a fact see in the box let us go through that also the indian national flag was flown into a space in 1984 when cosmonauts wing commander rakesh sharma became the first indian to travel in space the flag was attached as a medallion on his space suit understood so that's why we are proud akish sharma was proud he, because why being an indian he was proud that the flag was attached at his medallion on his space suit so that it can be i meant that identify that he is an indian Now let us go for the quiz 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 time. Who was the first person to hoist the Indian national flag on the foreign sail? Answer C. It's a B. Answer is B. I'll not say the name that you will write down. Okay? I'm just giving you hint. P. Now, question two: When the national flag is flown up with the flags of foreign countries, the flags of foreign countries shall proceed from the national flag in dash. It is A. Question three: When the length of the national flag is sixty-three centimeter. Its breadth is dash C. Question four: The national flag should be flown on the official residence. Okay. So this answer be what D. Okay. The first chapter is over. let us go let us go for the second chapter let's go for the second chapter chapter 2 most beautiful places in india India is a beautiful country with diversity due to its life. Student, I'm doing chapter two. Okay. India is a beautiful country with diversity due to its life. Different cultures, people, places, and much more. It is a land of untouched beauty that makes it one of them the most beautiful, serene place of the earth. See many tourists, many people they come to India. Why? Because there are many tourist places to see. It is full of nature, beauty as well as many things which you can see, and you will really feel that seeing that how the nature shades its beauty over there. Now look at the pictures, read the description, and name the beautiful places. you may use in with the help of the box 
ओके वन और टू आंसर्स आई विल बी से एंड रेस्ट यू वी गोइंग टू फाइंड आउट ओके ऑल आंसर्स आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू से नंबर वन इट इज द ग्रेजिंग पास्टर फेमस फॉर इट्स रिच variety of flowers situated at the height of 3596.64 meters situated uh, above meters above the sea level this place is bounded by himalayan mountains in the north sikkim can you guess what is the name okay i am telling you is yam thang valley is yam thang valley one two i'm going to skip that you're going to write down children okay this place is recognized number 2 this place is recognized for having some of the best and most beautiful tea gardens in the world it appears as if the ground is covered with bright green blankets the tea garden is so beautiful if you see from the if you see the view you see as if it's a green carpet over there so what will be the answer it is munar it is munar number 3 India's most spectacular sand dunes are found in the found here sand dunes you know in desert you find sometimes the breeze blow blows very heavily and that time all the sand they rotates like and it comes like a circling way and it covers up the sky and everything that is called the sand dunes so what will be the place name it will be jal salmar jal salmar number 4 it is a waterfall in tamil nadu situated 150 km away from bangalore what is this place name i am not going to say you are going to find out number 5 This is the world's highest salt water lake situated at the height about 4000 43350 meters This spectacular lake site can be reached after a 5 hour drive from Leh what it is you are going to write not me okay you also need to rack your brain right students number 6 it is the indian national park located in uttarakhand it is known for a variety of plants including alpine flowers it is also the world's heritage site known for its outstanding beauty should i say yes or no yeah it's a valley of flowers so two i left for you all you are going to find out now quiz time take the correct answer this is a salinas soda lake located in buldana district maharashtra it was created by a meteor impact what it is lona lake it is lona lake next question 2 which of the following is the smallest hill station in india that provides a dramatic view of sunrise and sunset what it is it is mathurin mahadta okay 
now last two three and four you have to do it number three which of the following is the largest river island in the world situated in the midstream of river bambaputta so you got to find out number four this is the waterfall you heard about waterfall located in east khasi hills near chirapunji meghalaya what it is you going to find out okay student so two chapters i have done today i'll be taking again next class and we'll be proceeding with the chapters okay so today since the first day i just did two chapters see that you do it and next day we'll push for the next chapter next chapter see since this is very short time your half year exams are going to start i, I may give some extra classes also sometimes maybe my video might be on saturday or class also i may upload so don't get confused time to time weekly i'll be giving my virtual and virtual uh, videos will be uploaded of mine of gk classes so don't get confused and for now i'm not giving you any fixed syllabus let me see how much i can cover up okay according to that that will be your syllabus is clear to you okay we'll be meeting on the next class stay safe so till then bye